it's, uh, hey, it's Renee with uh, Cancer Side with Renee B. Today you just need a chair and uh, we're going to do some upper body work and a little bit of core, but we're doing it on the chair, okay? So you need a chair with no wheels, no um, arms on the sides if you can, okay? And uh, so we're just going to start with a simple march in place. Oh, my chair is really crooked, but it's okay. So just, yeah, lift these legs up. It's kind of like you're doing a reverse crunch here anyway, but it's just kind of warming our body up. Let's warm up our arms too. <sighs> been watching the Olympics and I love it. They're just getting ready to start on gymnastics. And uh, boy, I was watching the women's bike race today. And uh, it was really intense. The little gal from Italy was way ahead. It started raining. She wiped out, and now she's like in intensive care. It's terrible. And then the U.S. girl was in second place, and now all of a sudden she's in first, and she was pretty good a distance ahead. But the closer and closer they got to the finish line, the closer and closer this pack of three women came up behind her. She just was out of it. Had no more energy. Thought she was ahead and be able to do okay, and those three passed her, and she ended up in fourth place after being in silver. Bumped up to gold and ended up in nothing. Oh my gosh, it was so intense to watch. <laughs> it was cool. I know now I look like I'm just running in place like a goofball. It's okay, we're just warming up our shoulders. Okay, and our legs. All right, so we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Ready? Yeah, we do them seated. It's also part of our warm up, it's all good. Abs tucked in. And you're breathing. Let's do five more. Let's get five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo. Okay. Now we're gonna do. Um, we did this the other day. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna pick our chair up and move it, and we're gonna do some tricep stuff and go from there, okay? So, catching my breath now. Hands up behind your head, fingertips just barely touching your head, and elbow to knee. Just eight, so this is not really feeling the best. <laughs> it's all right. All right, okay. Now we're going to um, need to use our chair. So I have my mat out so that I can keep my chair from sliding on my floor, okay? We go into the plank right here, right? And we're going to hold it here. And breathe, make sure everything's aligned. Abs are in, head and neck moving forward. Okay, now bring that knee up to your elbow and back. So it's kind of like a mountain climber. Oh gosh. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Okay, stand up. Shake it up. We're gonna go back into that position. We're gonna try to do some incline push-ups, okay? So um, you want your elbows to go by your side like this as much as possible, okay? So I struggle with that because my I'm a little disjointed here, so um, I have to sometimes push them out which is not as effective. So if you can do it proper, push up, you're gonna be working your triceps like this, okay? I have to do mine a little differently. So, 
because I listen to my body and I know what works for me and I know what doesn't. Okay, back into that plank position. You get ready. Abs in and you're breathing. Maybe you're pressing down and up. Breathe out. I might get one more in. As you can tell, I did not go way down super low. You know, I didn't get my nose to the chair. Very little. I was maybe going down just two inches or so, but it's okay because that's where I'm at. It's the level I'm at. So, all right, now we're going to do try to do some uh, tricep dips, okay? So, um, yeah, I gotta catch my breath. So, anyway, if you're sitting in the edge of your chair, Put your hands on the end here, you're gonna hold on, elbows go back into a tricep dip. You'll see. Your butt goes down, elbows go back, like such. Let's try three more, ready? Two, one. Now, if you're super adventurous, I'm not there yet, you could do that tricep dip and lift up one leg and do a couple of them and then do switch it out. So, but we are going to now stand up, turn our chair around. I have notes, I'm kind of watching my notes here. And we're just gonna do bend over like this, okay? And you're going to lift your leg out straight, like such, and kick it up and back, okay? And then we're going to pulse it in a few. Balancing on that chair. Make sure you're squeezing and contracting right here at the bottom of your leg and your butt where they meet. Three more. Three, two, one. Now switch it out. I have to move my chair a little bit because I don't want to kick my TV. The TV's in this room because uh, the couch is in here. And after my last surgery, we brought it out here. Um, there's better fans. We don't have air conditioning. And I'm more comfortable on the couch after my oophorectomy. It's easier for me to get in and out of than the futon we have back in the other room where we normally keep the TV. And we just haven't put it back yet because I'm kind of liking it out here. <laughs> so it's five, four, three, two, one. All right, now I said we're going to pulse it and I forgot. So we're going to pulse. Here we go. Flex that foot, just kicking it up and down slightly. Woo, switch that out, pulse that other side. Flexing that foot. I hope you're thinking you're feeling that back in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> then bring it down. Woo, stretch that back out. Okay, I know I got a big belly going on here. Then we'll get there. Okay, it's taking longer. <sighs> All right, so now uh, let's um, look at my notes. You're gonna hold on to the chair and do a side crunch, elbow and knee together, okay, like this. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch the chair around. Gives us good balance sometimes to have that chair there. 
we will work a little harder because we know we're not going to fall, <laughs> right? Got five more. Here we go. This is five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's do um, calf raises. <clears throat> so feet together. Coming up on your toes, all the way on your toes, heels up and down. Now you don't have to put them all the way down to the ground. Oh, we're going to go faster. Keep your knees slightly bent, abs tucked in. And lift and lower. Don't put those heels all the way down the ground, okay? Come up on your toes as much as you can. Do five more. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Yeah, let's do some squats. Let's do just a little bit hip distance apart, feet pointing forward from your knees. Don't let your knees go past your toes. Abs in, butt goes all the way back, holding on to the chair for some balance, okay? Yeah. One more, one more, one more. Whew, my knee's acting up again, so it's a little harder on me than I like it to be. Okay, so let's do some more calves, but this time with our feet, our heels together, okay? Toes and knees pointed out. We're working our calf just a little bit differently. more let's go five four three two one and hold it here hold it hold it hold it lift 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 oh, I feel tall I love it oh, and then release all right let's stretch things back out you guys ready you gonna stretch that calf out hands on your bent knee toe up feel that stretch in your calf yeah toe down and let's switch it out. Go down. Now you can bring the leg up, knees together, stretching out that top part of our thigh. Place this foot on top of your leg. Bend like you're in a squat. Gently press down on the other knee, stretching out that back hip that we worked. Okay, and then we'll switch it out. Yeah, pull that leg up. Whew. I feel like you can get a deeper stretch sometimes when you're using something to help balance, huh? Okay, bend that knee you're standing on slightly. Legs across, squat it down, press it down slightly. Don't over press it, but you should feel this stretch in that hip. And let's stretch it out. That's that we worked. You can switch that chair if you want. I'm not going to do it. Ooh, we've got to stretch out those triceps that we worked. <sighs> All right, we did it. We moved. I did a lot of housework today, so I really feel like I got a good workout already. But it's good to do these concentrated stretches and workouts too. All right, let's breathe it out. And all right, you guys, you know what you're doing. You're talking to your doctor, right? And you're hydrating with water. 
and uh, you're listening to your body. So I know where my limitations are still at, but I'm still trying to press on. And most importantly, you remember you are stronger. Love you.